Okay, we're right here by the kitchen sink, and to the left we have an outlet. And this is an outlet tester. It has good polarity, okay, to wire correctly. And this little red button right here is called a ground fault circuit interrupter. It basically sends a signal of a ground fault. So if I press this button, it should trip the outlet and or the breaker. And it does not trip, so it is not GFCI protected. I don't care if you put a GFCI here or if you put one in the panel, but either way, we should have one. And we'll test the one on the right, press the button, nothing trips. And we'll come over here to the left of the stove, and we'll press the button, nothing trips. And then we'll come over here to the right of the stove, press the button, that trips. That was the GFCI. And we'll come over here. And that's trip. So that's out. That's out. Let's see if the rest of them are out. That one's not out. Nothing's tripping. Nothing's tripping. Doo -doo -doo. Well, let's go to the panel. I think they just had a main panel outside, or was it everything? Nope, it's going to be everything. And there's your trip. See? Now that says garbage disposal. So, and kitchen circuit. We're going to try to reset this. And we're going to reset the kitchen circuit. Now we should have two kitchen circuits. Here's another kitchen circuit. Here's a kitchen circuit. This kitchen circuit needs to be FGFCI protected too. So this one trips, this one don't. So half's, half's protected by a GFCI. And the water heater is still off. And this one's off too.